and every night I, I would uh, approach that, that that single precious hour of energy. And once you've gotten the kids to sleep and before you you know collapse with exhaustion, what do you do? Do you read that groundbreaking clinical trial in The Lancet that will surely impact my practice? Should I catch up in the news and world events and be a you know involved citizen, or should I exercise for 30 minutes like I exhort my patients every single day? Unfailingly, the answer is none of the above. No matter how tired I am, I tighten the hairs on my bow, and I dig the end pin of my cello into my very rutted carpet. And as I practice, I find myself focusing ever more narrowly on a single page, a single line, a single measure, even a single note. Temperamentally, this is the exact opposite of life in the hospital, in which I feel pelted by ringing phones, impossible schedules, irritating bureaucracies, a cacophony of meaningless minutia. It is a glorious relief instead to struggle for and occasionally achieve precisely the right note. So is medicine as dispiriting and depressing a field as it often sounds in the news? And the answer is a resounding no, despite all, all the headlines to the contrary. I mean, most of us love what we do and wouldn't give it up for anything. We look at our spouses and our friends stuck in cubicles, knee deep in spreadsheets, sitting in an endless managerial meetings about market-driven infrastructure scalability and shifting widgets from point A to point B to point K and think, thank God I'm not there. When I close the room to the exam door and I, it's just the patient and me and I barricade the bureaucracy outside, it's an experience that, that is incomparable. The power of human connection becomes palpable. I can't always solve my patient's issues, but the opportunity to try cannot be underestimated. Thank you.